Well, you know, I think you, the one thing that TikTok does um, is it forces videos, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people want to watch. Yep. They don't. They don't want to read. They're tired. They want to watch and they want to learn. Sometimes, but really, yeah. they they want to watch, right? They want to watch things that are both comical and educational. That. Um, require not a lot of brain power. And I think that that's the biggest advantage that TikTok has over the other platforms. Now, Instagram is photos, you know, and some videos. And reels now, yeah. Reels, right? And reels are picking up momentum for the same reason that TikTok has the momentum that it does. But, uh, you know, I've, I've run videos through promotions and I've run ads with that are reads and my videos will get a 75% playthrough, whereas my ad would get like a 10% click through. Yeah. People don't read. Mm-mm. Yeah. Watch. So we have to get more comfortable being in front of the camera and it's awkward, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I, I tell people one thing, if you're going to start to do videos, don't watch them. Yeah. Do you one, know, uh, oh, record sorry. it, post it. Yeah, yeah, for for real. I mean, it really is. And then if you're going to do it for a while, the the best advice is is actually watch it. Once you can start standing the sound of your own voice, and then you can start, you know, realizing how many times I say right, or or um, not at the beginning, (laughs) not at the beginning, because if you do it, yes, you're gonna you'll never post it. You you're so overcritical of yourself, so you almost need to like build up your confidence around it, right? Like you post, oh damn it, I said right. Like you post right? it <laughs> and and then you see the reaction that it's getting. Then you realize, mm-hmm. okay, I'm not too bad uncut. So how great can I be with a little bit of polishing? And things things start to shift in your own brain. But if you start out and you watch your videos, yeah, yeah. No, it just, just it. to put a plug out there, man, if, if anyone want, is interested in trying to start doing that and, and is not comfortable with it, we had Patrick Carr on, on Behind the Tool Belt, I don't know, maybe six, seven, eight weeks four, ago, something four, like that. Weeks, yeah. um, he threw a nugget out there on a really good exercise that you can do. It takes about 15 minutes, and you can, you can within 15 minutes, make yourself a better podcaster and yeah. a better person on video. There's an exercise that you can do um, that he's said it's on our show, so go, pa- go back and find the Patrick Carr episode, and I think it's somewhere in the beginning of the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, Very good one. But it's, it, yeah. it's good, man. It's a good exercise but- that you can do. Let me tell you a little bit real quick. Uh, I, I'm going to drop a, a quick nugget um, about how I overcame it. Um, I'm standing in the middle of my driveway with my cell phone propped up against something back in uh, March of last year, right? Um, it was uh, right around the end of March, 1st of April. We had a, a blizzard where we got four feet of snow in one day. And I'm standing out in the middle of this blizzard doing content, creating content. And a song popped on uh, that was on my screen and I was like, Oh, I'm going to do a video to it. And it was Eminem uh, and Eminem's lose yourself. And if you know anything about the lyrics to lose yourself, it's lose yourself in the moment. You own it. You never, ever let it go. Right. Mm-hmm. And you only get one shot. And in my, in my mind, I kept thinking to myself, I only have one shot to get to these homeowners or to these clients or, or to, to make myself bigger than what I am on social media and from that point moving forward i was shy i was in a shell i was my oh i can't believe that i would actually put this on video my family might see it right the the embarrassing things from the 80s that people would tell their kids don't embarrass me right (laughs) um and really uh i when i when i got to that moment when i realized my potential i let go and i haven't looked back good for you that's awesome yeah yeah Yeah. that's good stuff i i think the biggest thing for me was is just stop caring yeah you know who gives a shit how many times i say um who gives a shit how many times i say right or like or or any of that stuff and when i think i started to get that mentality Mm -hmm. and honestly i don't know how many times i say right um or uh and and you know what i don't give a shit i i know i'm an asshole i know i look like an idiot and right. I love me. So who gives a shit? Yeah. You know, and, and I got to tell myself that, you know, um, be, or else we wouldn't do this. And, and this is the other thing, too. And a lot of times we talk about leadership and, and stepping outside of our comfort zone and getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. This, for me, was that huge step 
of stepping out of my comfort zone. And it's almost every week because I don't go live five times a day like TJ does. But, <laughs> but I do notice like when we have home shows or, or we're doing some kind of an event, whether it be a food drive or the 21 Turkey Salute, I do happen to go live three, four times a day. By the second time, bro, I, I'm like dialed in. I feel like I'm dialed in whether I am or not. Doesn't matter because I feel good about doing it. I'm not nervous anymore. I'm just saying what I think I need to say, get my point across, let everyone see what we're doing. And that's it. I hit the finish button yeah. and I never yeah. delete it. You, you know what I mean? And the yeah. more you do that, the more you feel better about it. And really at the end of the day, isn't that what it's about? Who, yeah. who cares how many rights I say, right? You, you know, uh, I, I care about my rights and it's only because I've really noticed that. And I look at it, it isn't the word it's what does that mean inside? So am I checking? Do I not feel like it's a validation? Am I worried that people are not paying attention to me? Like what, what is that? So when I look at repetitive behavior, it's more from a psychological standpoint of, is there something broken or missing or, or what is it ca that's causing me to say that word right? Now, if it was, um, um's a different word, right? Um is a, is a pause word. It's a conjunction. You bring it all together, but right is a validation word. Mm -hmm. And I have struggled so much with worthiness and feeling lovable and other things throughout my life that I feel like I'm constantly overcoming and I'm constantly, you know, telling that bitch, Karen, my negative self-talk to shut up. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if that is what that is. So I'm more cognizant of it from that standpoint than I would be if I said like or um, because those aren't my words of choice. It's very interesting to me that my word of choice is right from a validation standpoint. And that, yeah. that's really what I'm trying to work through because we all have words that we use. I mean, we can't fill every single freaking space of time. Right. No, and that, that's a great point too. And that's, that's you trying to figure out you. Yeah, self-awareness. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. For sure.